All right, here's the two that I would like you, that I had you do on your own. Let's check your answers now. We're going to calculate the slopes. And we're going to get negative 9 over 6, which reduces to negative 3 halves. This is a negative number for my slope, therefore it is falling. And for the second one, negative 2 minus negative 2 over 5 minus 3 gives us a 0 over 2. The 0 is in the numerator, which makes the, this a 0. Therefore, it is horizontal. As always, if you have questions on these, you can leave them in the comments, but don't sit there and struggle, right? Ask a question, make sure that you understand it. But let's move on to the next set of examples. Let's talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Uh, you've learned th about these lines before. We can draw a picture of parallel lines here. So parallel lines are what we get when you have two lines that never touch. They go side by side for all eternity, and they never, ever touch. They never connect. I think it's one of the most tragic stories in mathematics. Here you have two lines that have so much in common. They're going in the same direction, but they never, ever meet, right? It's tragedy. Soulmates here are never going to connect and meet together. It's, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. Uh, anyway. Sadness aside, parallel lines, uh, they have lots in common, particularly uh, they're increasing at the same rate. If they're increasing at the same rate, it means they have the same slope. So parallel lines have the same slope. So if we know the slope of two lines and they are the same, they are parallel lines. Perpendicular lines, on the other hand, are two lines that are polar opposites of each other. They meet at a 90 degree angle. They intersect once and only once, and then they go their separate ways for all eternity. Uh, and they, they meet again, like I said, specifically at a 90 degree angle. Now, the slope of these two lines is obviously different. One's positive, one's negative. They will always be positive, one positive, one negative. But it's more than that. Uh, perpendicular lines have this relationship called the inverse reciprocal. And the inverse reciprocal means we flip it and change the sign. Oops, not the psi. <sighs> change the sign. Meaning, if the slope of 1 is 3 halves, the inverse reciprocal is negative 2 thirds. If the slope of 1 is 2, then the inverse reciprocal is negative 1 half. We flip it and change the sign. If you calculate the slope of two lines, and it turns out that they have this inverse reciprocal relationship, then those two lines are perpendicular. So let's do a few examples here. We've got two lines, one line that goes through the points negative 2 and 2, and one that goes through and 0, 1. And the second line goes through negative 4, negative 1, and 2, 3. Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Let's calculate. So we're going to find the slope of each. Negative 1 minus 2 over 0 minus negative 2 gives us negative 3 over 2. So this is line 1. The slope of line 2 is 3 minus negative 1 over 2 minus negative 4. And that is 4 over 6. And that is 2 thirds. So this one is negative, two thir negative 3 halves. This one is positive 2 thirds. Are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? They are perpendicular. Because the relationship between these two numbers is inverse reciprocal. 
we flipped it and we changed the sign. Let's do our second example. Line 1 goes through 1, 2, and 4, negative 3. So that's negative 3 minus 2 and 4 minus 1. So negative 5 over 3, negative 5 thirds. Line 2 goes through negative 4, 3, and negative 1, negative 2. So that's negative 2 minus 3 over negative 1 minus negative 4. This is negative 5 over positive 3. Parallel, perpendicular, or neither. These two slopes are the same, which means they are parallel lines. I've got one last video for you. Uh, in this section, it's doing an example of one that I want you to do on your own here. Um, so go ahead and go do that problem, and then come back for that third video, or that, excuse me, fourth video, and uh, that'll be the end of this section. So we'll see you in just a second.